Good evening. I hope you're doing well. Let me ask you a question. What if an American president, and I don't care which one, take your pick, any president, what if an American president said, we're going to go to war with Russia, and it's going to be the biggest war in the history of the world, but we're only going to send the Navy. No Air Force, no Army, no Marines. We're only going to send the Navy. Doesn't matter that the ships can't get close enough, we're only going to send the Navy. People would probably think that's crazy, right? And yet, that's exactly, as patients, how we're told to fight the war on cancer. Hmm. Just listen to your oncologists, they say. They're the experts, they say. Sadly, due to the rules imposed on them, those experts, those oncologists, are only experts in surgery and pharmaceutical products. <laughs> They're the Navy. They're just the Navy. Meanwhile, a total war is fought on land, air, and sea. And I guess under the sea if you're a submariner. And much the same way, the war on cancer needs to be fought with oncology, but also with natural medicine and metabolic therapies. They complement each other and all three are critical. Only using one is the equivalent of just sending the Navy. Now, how did we get to this place? Ah, there's plenty of blame to go around. Our healthcare system is broken. But the bottom line is this. Our medical industry is controlled by the pharmaceutical companies to generate the greatest amount of profit for themselves, regardless of patient outcomes. Let me say that again. Our medical industry is controlled by the pharmaceutical companies to generate the greatest amount of profit for themselves, regardless of patient outcomes. They control the politicians with donations. They control the bureaucracy, like FDA, CDC, NIH. And through those, they control and dictate all the rules imposed on our doctors, our pharmacists, and all of our medical professionals. As patients, we cannot com come up with a complete battle plan for a total war on cancer if the only people we're talking to are oncologists. The board who licenses those doctors, those oncologists, the AMA and federal agencies won't allow it. Therefore, as a patient, if I'm gonna wage a total war on cancer, I have to go beyond oncology. I have to go beyond the pharma-trained medical professionals to find experts in natural medicines and metabolic therapies, and I have to do all that on my own. And in the eyes of the medical community, that makes me an outlaw. So be it. Um, the bottom line is, I cannot rely solely on a single pathway to fight the cancer I have. The cancer's too advanced. So I have to wage an all out war. Now, if you're in a similar situation, um, maybe there's something in what I learned that can help you. If you have cancer to fight, maybe there's something in what I learned that can help you. And that's the reason why I'm sharing all the information I learned. I've talked to the experts, I've scoured the internet, I've talked to doctors, I have a functional MD, I've talked to nutritionists, I've talked to a variety of people globally and put together recommendations that they had for me. Now, I'm not a medical professional. I don't make recommendations to people. But if there is something in what I've learned that makes sense to you, that could help you, I'm happy to share it so that you don't have to go through the struggle and months that it took me to gather all this information. So best of luck to you. I hope you find something here that helps. I hope you don't mind being called a cancer outlaw just because you're trying to find information beyond oncology to help you beat your cancer. Talk to you soon.